you, buddy. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, <clears throat> my name's Bill. It's uh, Tuesday. It's vaguely noonish. Let's do another one of these Tuesday at noon videos. This week, I thought I would do a bit of a... Actually, before we get to this video, um, I thought I would talk a little bit about this past weekend. It was Mother's Day, and in honor of that, I'm wearing this lovely sweater that my mother made for me with her very own hands and needles and... Needles? Knitting needles. Then they're knitting sticks. Uh, she made this sweater quite a while ago, and it is lovely. If you've been watching a bunch of these, you'll see, you notice that uh, I'm not wearing my usual shirt that has my name on it. Uh, and I think it's, I do think it's very fun to have a shirt with your name on it. So I made myself this very fancy name tag. Um, and if you would like one, leave your name down in the comments below as you would like it to say, to appear. And I will make you your very own extra fancy name tag, such like mine, uh, exactly like mine, but with your name. So not exactly the same for the very modest price of $58,000 but anyway, so to get to the point, uh, this week's video will be an update to the cruise ship musicianing video I did a couple weeks ago. Months ago? If you haven't seen the video I did uh, a couple weeks ago or a month ago, I guess, uh, that was all about being a musician on a cruise ship and how to get the gig, right? Um, be sure to go back and check it out. I'll have the pop-up thing here. Uh, but if you're not watching it on YouTube, you're watching it on wherever else you may find it, uh, you probably won't see that. I sent it to a friend of mine who does the booking for one of the major cruise lines, and uh, he sent me back some interesting notes. The thing that kind of changes everything for the way that bands get hired now is they're trying to get away from using talent agencies and whatnot to uh, find their acts. Uh, they're doing a lot of direct booking, which is probably less um, hassle, probably just easier for them, for everybody involved. So that's awesome. You don't need the agents anymore. You can go just directly uh, send it straight in. They probably have links for the submissions and whatnot um, on their different websites. The rest of the notes that he gave me were pretty much all about the promotional videos that people submit. Before that though, the bit that I was talking about with the booze and drugs stuff um, and don't be just wasted all the time. So that's very good, very important. They don't need the hassle, um, and it's just it just doesn't look good for the cruise line. So if you get the gig, stay clean. Well, you can you can obviously have fun, but don't be stupid. You know what I mean? The rest of the notes were all about the promotional videos. They only watch the first 30 seconds of a video, right? If you don't catch their attention in the first 30 seconds, they're not gonna watch the rest of your video. They just won't care. They don't have time to sift through the hundreds, if not thousands of videos they get every month. So when you're putting yours together, make sure the first 30 seconds is absolutely everything that you want them to know about you. And make the first five seconds just punchy as you can. Just super like, this is who we are. This is what we do. You have to catch their attention to make them even want to watch the first 30 seconds of it. So right off the bat, start with like, just fade into a song. You know what I mean? Some really, interesting, cool thing that you do. Just make sure it's perfect. Uh, and then show the name of your group, maybe a wide shot with everybody in it, and then put your contact information in, in the rest of the bottom of the video, the whole way through, right? Um, but the wide shot brings me to the next point. The, the bit with everybody in it, right? Uh, brings me to the next point of that you need to make sure that everybody that is in the video goes up the gangway if you get the gig, right? There is nothing worse than half the band in the promo video not being there, right? It's just, you're misrepresenting yourself. It's not very professional. You're not doing anybody any favors. Another thing with the video, it has to be in a live venue, right? A cafe, a little jazz bar, a wine bar, whatever. Do it right, approach a venue that you like the, the look of, the feel, the ambiance of the room, if you will, you know? and just say, look, uh, we're gonna do a promotional video, trying to get on cruise ships, can we use your venue for a night? You know what I mean? Um, you're gonna be giving them live music for free, you know, essentially. Just make work out a deal with somebody, you know. You don't have to do a full three set night or whatever, you just have to do enough to get a video, you know, a bunch of little snippets of stuff. But the more you shoot, the more you have to cut together, 
you know what I mean, to make something interesting. Um, so make sure it's in a live venue. Make sure the first 30 seconds are as interesting as possible and make sure that everybody's in the video go up the gangway, right? All very important stuff. Now, one thing to know that, uh, that I was told was that they are paying much better now than they were a decade ago, um, which is fantastic. On the other hand, they are expecting that much more, right? You can't fake it anymore, you need to be a pro. They just don't have time for people to stuff around and waste their time, you know? They, they're paying more, they're expecting more. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> to recap, how lazy was that? I love it. Oh, yes. Uh, like always, if you like what I'm doing, share and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave some comments down below telling me what you like, what you didn't like, um, whether or not you want one of these extra fancy name tags. Uh, all that fun stuff. In the comments below, leave me suggestions for future videos. That's always appreciated. Um, I might not do them. I might do them. I don't know. I might stretch them out into three videos. You never know. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. <laughs>